Labor's leadership team insists it's not worried about facing off with Peter Dutton when he's confirmed as Liberal leader. The former Defence Minister will go head-to-head -head with Anthony Albanese when Parliament returns, but Katie Gallagher and Jim Chalmers argue he's a poor pick. If Peter Dutton is the answer, then it's not entirely clear that they heard the questions that were raised during the selection campaign. Yeah, I think Peter Dutton's elevation would show that they've learned absolutely nothing from the drubbing that they got on Saturday. You know, Peter Dutton has all of the same characteristics that people didn't like that they saw in Scott Morrison. The Liberal leadership team will be decided at a party room meeting in Canberra in the coming weeks. Former Home Affairs Minister Karen Andrews has told Sky News that Peter Dutton and Susan Lay will be elected leaders. Peter Dutton has very widespread support to stand as the leader of the Liberal Party and that is support that I understand is not just from Queensland where he has a very strong base but uh, he has support across Australia. Liberal MP Stuart Robert meantime has told Sky News that Scott Morrison is doing well in the aftermath of his election loss. I've spoken to all of my colleagues, Kieran, just to make sure that everyone's fine. Pastoral care is something we should all do. Uh, and it's also important that we pick ourselves up as a great political party and we focus on our job at hand. Um, Scott Morrison is, is doing well. He'll be reflective, as are many of our colleagues. But it's important our colleagues now aren't reflecting on what happened, aren't reflecting on, on leadership. They are looking at how we're going to hold Labor to account a close friend of the teenage babysitter who was allegedly in a relationship with Chris Dawson while at school has been giving evidence in the former teacher and rugby league player's murder trial. The court heard the babysitter told the friend she'd come to believe Lynette Dawson must have been murdered by her husband. Kenny Heatley is covering the trial at the Supreme Court in Sydney.